أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد الفاتح لما أغلق والخاتم لما سبق ناصر الحق والحق والهادي إلى سراتك المستقيم وعلى آله حق قدره ومقدار العظيم نوع الأربعين نوع الاعتكاف نوع الخلوة نوع العزلة نوع الرياضة نوع السلوك نوع الصيام الله تعالى العظيم في هذا المسجد أنا الصالح سيد الشيخ الله فاز دغستان الصالح سيد الشيخ محمد الله سبحانه الحقاني هذا سيد الشيخ محمد عادل ربنا إن شاء الله عين ونبعون الله وكون عونا لنا بالله عصنا الله بفضل الله طريقتنا الصحبة والخير في الجمعية أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أطيع الله وأطيع الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم الحمد لله This is إن شاء الله our weekly ختم الخواجة كان ذكر ذكر نقش بندي نقش بندية طريقة نقش بندية العلية and maybe some people asking why we're doing it on Fridays we we do it on Fridays because the zikr is supposed to be on Friday. Friday evening, which is Thursday night, or Friday day, it does not matter. Sheikh Abdullah al-Faiz Dagestani was doing it between Asr and Maghrib on Fridays. And the reason why we are doing it on Friday, mainly day, is because uh, during the summer the days are really long. And uh, if you do it Thursday evening, you have to do it after Maghrib, which is sometimes at 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 9.30 p.m., something like that. So it gets really late for people. That's why we switched it to Fridays during the summer. Inshallah, by maybe next week or the following week, as the days are shrinking, we'll move it back, inshallah, to Thursday night, yani, the night of Friday, inshallah, as Maghrib becomes earlier. So, inshallah, uh, that is the main reason why as long as the khatim is on Friday, the benefit is there, inshallah, whether it is Friday evening or Friday before Maghrib or uh, Friday after Maghrib, whichever way you like it. Alhamdulillah. Uh, the beginning of Safar, the month of Safar has just started. And it is a month where uh, there, one should be wary of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment descending in this holy month, in this month, not holy month, but in the month, it's not from Ashur al Hurum. And uh, it is recommended from our mashayikh to do extra istighfar because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not punish a nation as He stated in the Quran. Allah will not punish them as long as they are making istighfar. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so we are supposed to do an additional 300 istighfar a day in this holy month. And another thing, sunnah in this month for protection in every month, but this month specifically is to give sadaqa because sadaqa fends off affliction and it extends one's life as Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu informed us. And so these two things, and Mulana Sheikh also mentioned there are some Quranic recitation. I think they were shared on the groups uh, for this month. It is a month to be extra cautious, especially the last Wednesday of this month and to make much istighfar. But this is also something that we should be doing in every month, especially in these days of affliction, these days of difficulty, these days of testing. Yani it doesn't need a rocket scientist to figure out that, that the world is in trouble, that there is some serious afflictions that have befallen this earth and that what is happening around us are only signs of maybe even different, more difficult times to come. This is not based on our own assessment. This is based upon the foretelling of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as he informed us at the end of times of the great trials, the great difficulties and he gave us the signs of Akhiru Zaman. We are end of times people. We are immersed in the age 
the second age of ignorance, the second age of complete unbelief. We are immersed in it now. And no one can deny this. Everywhere you look, vice. Every value of goodness is upside down now. Modesty became a sin. A person that wants to be modest is looked down upon as old-fashioned or bad. Greed is something good. As long as you can be successful and build a big mansion, doesn't matter if you're greedy and you step on a few small people. Doesn't matter if countries take advantage of little countries. No problem. Many of the things have been reversed. Every kind of illness and vice is widespread, but not like before. Not before when people, when they engaged in sin or vice, they did not, they hid it. They were feeling shy. They did not want their neighbors to know. And now, not only your neighbors, a TikTok and uh, what is the other one? Uh, Facebook and uh, Instagram, you, people advertise their nonsense. They advertise their sin. They, are, they advertise their lack of shame everywhere. Not only they are, we are sinning in, in these days, but we are also happy and proud of it that we share it with the world. And what do you think the end result of this? Read the Quran. Read the stories of those who came before us. Read how their destruction was in, this, in, in their engagement of vice and sin and, 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 and uh, immoral activities and so forth. What do you think is going to happen? What will happen to our world in this? What about, what about the atheism that's widespread? The disbelief that is widespread? Where is that going to take us? Today, earlier, we, we, during Jum'ah, we spoke about a matter that Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, said in the Quran, وَقَلِيلٌ مِنْ عِبَادِي مِنْ عِبَادِي يَشْشَكُورٌ Very, very few of my servants are grateful and thankful. And he said, وَمَا أَكْثَرُ النَّاسِ وَلَوْ حَرَصْتَ بِمُؤْمِنِينَ And he said, وَإِن تُطِعَ أَكْثَرَ مَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ يُدُلُّكَ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ He said, وَمَا أَكْثَرُ النَّاسِ وَلَوْ حَرَصْتَ بِمُؤْمِنِينَ He was telling Prophet ﷺ, it doesn't matter how hard you try, majority of people are not going to accept you or believe in you. And he was telling, he was telling us also in the Holy Quran, he was saying, وَإِن تُطِعَ أَكْثَرَ مَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ and if you obey the majority of people on this earth, they will misguide you. They will misguide you from the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the age now. Look at Akthara Man Fil Ardi. Look at the majority of people on earth. Look at what we're engaged in. Look how shaitan completely destroyed our morality, destroyed our values, destroyed our... Through what? Through all these vices of social media. And uh, technologies. We have human race, have, not only their, their, their mind is destroyed, because they can't keep their focus and attention for more than a minute or two. Their, their light is diminished with seeing vice all day and hearing vice and be engaging in useless activities. And even our bodies also, by all these poisons that are now in our foods spread, Yani shaitan completely is destroying the human race. Mud, body, mind, and soul, as they say. This is the reality of the, 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 the life we live now. No one can deny this. So what are we expecting? 
good days to come? الظلم لا يدوم وإن دام دمر Oppression does not last and if it lasts it destroys everything We are we are seeing oppression on all levels on the level of the human being We're all oppressors إلا ما رحم ربك Except those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguarded But we're all oppressing ourselves and the people around us And on the level of communities, on the level of countries, oppression of all kinds. So what are we expecting then? We have to prepare. This is, this is, this is, uh, these are all warning signs of what's coming. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, look, if, if we have doubt, we Muslims now have, have a hard time to congregate to be in the masjids together, to come to zikr together. These are not signs? These are good signs? They're not. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. Make too much istighfar in this, in this month, month of suffer. But also I'm telling myself to continue istighfar throughout the year. Make, ask forgiveness, Ya Rabbi Tawbah, astaghfirullah. For all our heedlessness and sinfulness and forgetfulness, we are weak ones. But now you have to be from the Qalil. You find people of zikr. How many people of zikr now? Whether it is in Arab countries or Middle East or Western countries, how many people are engaged in, in zikrullah? Few. Qalil. Find those qalil. How many people are doing maulid? Few. Qalil, find those qalil. Be with the few. Don't be with the many. Don't follow trends. Don't look at what's happening and what's popular. Most of it is useless in the least if it's not sinful activities that we, we that shaitan is keeping us busy with. There is no time now. We are literally... Yani Mulan Sheikh Nazim was 20 and 30 and 40 years ago, ago warning of the punishment and the storm that is coming to uh, human beings for their lack of belief and for their sinfulness. And that was before this age of corona and disease and uh, lack of shame that we are seeing. And this is just the beginning. Shaitan has bigger plans for human beings. He has pledged to show Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we, we that I will show you they're not worthy of your of your honoring them. And he is trying his best to do that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, keep us safe from the hand of Shaitan, keep our families, our loved ones, keep the Ummah of Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, keep us steadfast. Attend zikr. Attend Salah ala nabi Now Mawlid al-Nabi, inshallah, month coming. Make much Mawlid. Make much Salah ala nabi These are our safeties. Inshallah, in this time. La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah. Wa min Allahi tawfiq bi hurmati al-Habib, bi hurmati al-Fatiha.